The Son of Sam, a history of terrorist killings in NYC. Throughout 1976 and 1977, New Yorkers were terrified by the Son of Sam murders committed by unknown serial murderer David Berkowitz. An apparent random assault murdered six women and men in three boroughs. The crimes sparked one of the city's largest manhunts. Here's a chronology of one of history's most notorious killing sprees. The 29th of July 1976 The killer's first victims. The first gunshots ascribed to the son of Sam took place in Pelham Bay, Bronx. A guy approached Jody Valenti and Donna Loria, 18, in Valenti's double-parked Oldsmobile and fired three rounds. In a moment, Loria was dead, and Valenti was wounded in the thigh by the assailant, who then walked rapidly away. Valenti described her assailant as a Caucasian man in his 30s, 5 feet 8 inches tall, 200 pounds, with short black curly hair. Two additional persons are shot but live on October 23, 1976. They were fired at while sitting in their automobile, which was parked in a residential section of Flushing, Queens. Carl Denaro was 20 and Rosemary Keenan was 18. Both survived, although Denaro was hit in the head. Denaro's shoulder-length hair led police to believe he was mistaken for a woman. A guy in fatigues attacks a couple on November 27, 1976. A guy in military fatigues approached Donna DeMarzi, 16, and Joanne Lamino, on the street in Floral Park, Queens, with a handgun and shot each lady once. Their assailant shot again before fleeing. DeMarzi was shot in the neck but survived. Lamino was disabled after a back shot. January 30, 1977, another apparently random strike. Christine Freund, 26, and John Deal, 30, were shot in Flushing, Queens. As Deal fled in fear, Freund was twice shot and died in hospital. There seemed to be no motivation, but after this murder, the authorities acknowledged that the assault was identical to prior occurrences all victims had. 44 caliber bullets and a young woman with long black hair. At the time, cops stated they were hunting for many. March March 8, 1977, college student is attacked. Virginia Voskarichian, 19, was shot in the head as she returned home after college studies in the same area as Freund. Following Voskarichian's death, authorities stated that they had strong suspicions about his murder, as reported daily in the Daily News and New York Post. The attackers utilized a 44 Bulldog revolver. The 17th of April 1977, the murderer reveals his identity Valentina Suriani, 18, and Alexander Esau, 20, were each shot twice in the early morning outside Suriani's house in the Bronx. Esau died at the spot, Suriani afterwards. To his credit, the murderer identified himself through a handwritten letter left for authorities at the crime site. The 30th of May 1977, a columnist gets a handwritten note from the murderer. Jimmy Breslin of the Daily News got a handwritten note from the gunman. Breslin is warned not to forget, Loria, nor should the people forget her. Sam's a thirsty guy who won't let me stop murdering until he's had his fill. Son of Sam, the letter said. Police were given the letter, which was eventually published with redactions in one of the paper's best-selling issues, selling over a million copies. Women in New York started cutting their hair short or dyeing it bright colors after hearing that the victims all had long, black hair, according to news sources. Attack on a couple outside a club at the end of a night at a club in Bayside, Queens, Judy Placido and Sal Lupo were sitting in a parked car when Placido and Lupo were shot, both 17. Lupo told the cops he and Placido had just discussed the son of Sam murderer minutes before the assault, according to Lupo's account. The 31st of July 1977, first assault on a blonde victim Stacy Moskowitz, 19, and Robert Violante, 20, were shot in Violante's vehicle on their first date. And Moskowitz died 18 hours later, the first in Brooklyn with a victim with blonde hair. 
An eyewitness said before the Brooklyn shootings that other policemen were issuing parking citations in the same location. Berkowitz's automobile was found that night, and he was already under investigation for harassing a neighbor. Arrested August 10, 1977, Berkowitz confessed the following day Berkowitz, 24, was nabbed in front of his Yonkers residence. Police found a weapon, maps of murder sites, and ammo in Berkowitz's vehicle. Police nabbed Berkowitz as he drove away from his apartment complex. The next day, Berkowitz admitted to the killings, blaming Sam, a demonic entity, for the attack. Berkowitz also admitted to setting 1,500 fires around the city. The first murder occurred when he was 23. Pleading guilty to murders on May 8, 1978 is a result of Berkowitz's plea, he was sentenced to 25 years to life in prison for the six murders. The assaults and killings were carried out by Berkowitz's cult, he said after his incarceration. Pleading guilty to murders on May 8, 1978. As a result of Berkowitz's plea, he was sentenced to 25 years to life in prison for the six murders. The assaults and killings were carried out by Berkowitz's cult, he said after his incarceration. Despite the lack of concrete proof, many still doubt whether Berkowitz acted alone. Former NYPD vice detective Jim Rothstein claims Berkowitz didn't kill all those who died in the Son of Sam murders.